Hello, contestants. Oh, my, my, there is a lot of you. Sorry I haven't been here lately. Um, the production crew's having some issues. Anyways, I have an announcement to make. We are going to announce the challenge for today. So, as you viewers know, uh, there are a lot of um, options to suggest challenges and stuff. After every video, or during every video I mean, uh, I announce that it is time to, you know, go down in the comments and post your ideas for a challenge. And this challenge is no exception. We got this from a viewer like you, so if you would like to suggest a challenge to be on the show or have a, you know, chance to be on the show as a challenge, then go suggest it down in the comments. Now, today's challenge is brought to you by Koopa the New Guy, and we are going to be doing a truth or dare challenge, with a little bit of a twist, of course. So, contestants, before you split off into your teams, I'm going to explain how the challenge works. So first, each of the team captains, which are the people wearing the jerseys, of course, they will all pick one person from their team to come with them to the arena where we will um, participate in the truth or dare challenge. So each of the team leaders will choose one person from their team to come with them and the person that they choose to come with them will be asking the team leader truth or dare and then the team leader of each team will have to either perform a truth or dare. If they complete the truth and it is truthful then they pass and move on to the next round. If they uh, get a dare and they do complete the dare, then they move on to the next round. But if they get a truth or a dare and they do not get it correct, then unfortunately they will be eliminated. The last team standing wins, and of course the first team that doesn't complete it will be going to the voting, which is not very fun. But, as you know, there are, there are 40 of you, well, now 39, but there are 39 of you, which means we have to kick some people off the show. I mean, look at the screen size, there's too many people on this screen. We have to get people eliminated. Anyways, team leaders, go pick your people that you want to come with you, and we'll move on to the arena. All right, Red Team, unfortunately, Chef Noodles was eliminated last time, and I won't let that happen again to our team. So this time, I'm going to pick the right person to come and play Truth or Dare with me so the Red Team will not lose again. And that person that I choose will be Gino. Pleasure to be your partner, Junior. Ah, yes, Gino, you will make sure that we win this. I know of it. <laughs> As team leader Waluigi, I'm going to make sure that all of you on the green team are safe. No one is going to go home on my watch. No one. No one, I tell you. And for that, I need a special person. A special person that I know will not let me down in this truth or dare challenge. And for that, I'm going to choose Herbert as my partner for the truth or dare challenge. <laughs> Yay! Herbert gets to go on a field trip! Yay! Alright, Blue Team, I know from experience that the Truth or Dare challenges, at least that I've played in the past, have been very, very fishy. Now, I don't know why, but sometimes they're just a little odd, if you know what I mean. But regardless, I'm going to make sure that the Blue Team comes out on top and that we do not get someone from our team eliminated, because that would be awful. Anyways, though... I'm going to choose, hmm, I'm going to choose Bendy as my partner to go to the arena for the uh, Truth or Dare challenge. Ah, Bonnie, you have made a very, very wise choice. Well, I sure hope I have. Uh, alright, Yellow Team, so at least we haven't done, like, absolutely awful uh, last time. And hey, at least no one's eliminated, I mean, that's a good thing, right? But, uh, I just, I have to pick someone to go to this challenge with me, so, I mean, I don't know, I, I guess I'm gonna go with, uh, let's see, I'll go with Max, Max the Mushroom over there, um, I think he'll be a great partner for me for this, uh, Truth or Dare challenge. Well, glad to be your partner, man. Uh, yeah, thanks, Max, I, I hope we can do this challenge well together. Now, come on, let's go. Alright, man. 
Alright selected contestants, now we will start our truth or dare challenge. We will start with the red team and we'll just keep going down the line. After every team has either moved on or whatever, after they've moved on, then we will keep going until the first team cannot complete their truth or their dare. After the truth or dare, after the first team that has not completed the truth or the dare, then we'll be headed to the voting, and the other three teams will be safe, the other three teams will be considered winners, and the one team that could not complete the truth or the dare will be coming to the voting with me, where another person will be voted out of Awesome Stuff Fluff Frenzy Season 2. Without further ado, let's get this challenge on the road. Alright, Bowser Jr. Truth or dare? Uh, truth. Have you ever wanted your dad, aka Bowser, to just go away so you could take over his role in capturing Princess Peach? Uh, uh, yeah? Aha! I knew it! I knew you always had something for that. Alright. Alright, great job, Bowser Jr. and Gino. Alright, let's move on to the green team. Alright, Waluigi, truth or dare? <laughs> I'm no wuss. Dare! <laughs> I dare you to scream as loud as you can! That's easy! Wah! Waluigi! Great job, Waluigi and Herbert! Now, on to the blue team! Alright, Bonnie. Truth or dare? Um, truth. All right, Bonnie, have you ever wanted to replace Freddy in your band as the lead singer? <gasps> oh boy! I don't know about this. Um, uh, I mean, I'll lose the challenge if I lie. Uh, uh, yes, unfortunately I have. I've always wanted to play the guitar and sing, so... Yes, I just wish Freddy would di disappear sometimes. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you always wanted to be a singer. Well, what if I were to tell Freddy about this instance? Great job, Bonnie and Bendy. Now, on to the final team, the yellow team. All right, Egbert. So, truth or dare? Uh, uh I don't know. Um, I'll, I guess I'll just go with dare. Man, now what's the easiest dare that I could think of? Now, I gotta remember, when I play with my goodness gang friends, what's the easiest one I can think of? Huh. Oh, that's right, goodness gang members don't wear clothes. <gasps> it's wonderful! Egbert, I dare you to take off all your clothes. Wait, uh, uh wait. Max, are you serious? Yeah, trust me, it'll be easy. Oh, wait. Oh, well, fry me up and put me on a burger, I mean. Oh, I forgot you're not a goodness gang member. This is gonna be a lot harder for you. Max, are you serious? I, ca I can't take off all my clothes in front of the camera. Well, what are you waiting for, Egbert? The viewers are waiting. Wait, uh, but no, wait, uh, uh I really don't want to lose this challenge. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh. Here's the jersey, now here goes my shirt, and there's my shirt, oh boy. <laughs> Egbert, what are you, the skinnier version of the Stay Puffed March Marshmallow Man? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Egbert, that is one funny jit, one funny dare Max made you do. <laughs> oh boy, he's right. You do look like the skinnier version of the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. <laughs> what? what? Guys, stop laughing at me. I, I can't. I, I don't. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm not doing this. I, I forfeit the dare. 
<laughs> oh, sorry contestants, uh, but Yellow Team, you have forfeited the dare, which means <laughs> you are going to be coming to the voting. Now, uh, pack up your things and let's get to the voting. <laughs> ah, all right, contestants. So, all of these teams, besides the yellow team, you guys are safe. You are not coming to the voting. You are good to go. So, the red team, the green team, and the blue team, you can all rest easy for the night because you are all safe. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> the yellow team, you are going to be coming to the voting. So, pack up your things, Egbert, put your shirt on, and meet me at the voting. <sighs> Oh boy, that was the most embarrassing challenge I've ever done in my entire life. I mean, I had to take off all my clothes, I mean not all my clothes, but at least my shirt and stuff in front of the camera in front of you guys, and then I got made fun of by my by my teammates and by Vivi. I mean, people said I looked like the, the skinnier version of the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Oh, this is awful, I, I don't know, I, I just... I'm, I'm kind of thinking of voting for Max, but I know he didn't mean to, so, I mean, if... I'm thinking of voting for Max tonight, but I might not, I'm... I mean, Jake's a little weird, he's kind of tall, and he takes up a lot of, you know, space when we all sit down together as a team, so I might vote for Jake, I might vote for Max, I don't really know, but I'll definitely vote for one of those two. Uh, this is the most embarrassing day of my life. So... When Egbert and Max got back from the challenge, I was majorly upset, and I wanted to smack someone with my ruler. But, unfortunately, I couldn't do that because then I would get disqualified and probably kicked off Awesome Stuff Love Frenzy. When I was talking to both of them, it seemed, to me at least, that Max dared Egbert to take his clothes off. Why would you dare someone to do that? That is humiliating. Why would you do that? Now, that made me really angry, and although I can't smack anyone with my ruler on this premises, I am going to probably vote for Max tonight, because that is ridiculous. Why would you throw the challenge like that to try and make someone take all their clothes off? That is rude, and that is humiliating. So Max does not deserve to be here, and uh, he's going to get voted out tonight. Alright, so I really didn't mean to make fun of Egbert, I mean... I just kind of got up, got all caught up in when, you know, we used to play Truth or Dare as Goodness Gang Pals. I mean, that was the easiest dare I could think of when I used to play with all my Goodness Gang buddies because no one in the Goodness Gang ever wears clothes. But then I realized that I'm not with my friends and I'm with actual people that do wear clothes. So, uh, yeah, I messed up big time. And if I get voted out tonight, I completely understand why. I mean, I get it. But I don't really want to get voted out, so I don't know. I was talking to Egbert, and he, he made it seem like Jake was kind of weird and kind of big and kind of tall, so I might vote out Jake tonight. I mean, that's my best bet, and I just hope I don't get voted out for accidentally throwing the challenge. Well, 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 contestants, you know what time it is. It's voting time. And here are all the people that could be going home tonight because the yellow team failed their truth or dare challenge. Now, as you know, you know what time it is, you know what to do. All right, go cast your votes. Wow, I will have you know that I am very disappointed in the people that participated in the challenge today. Therefore, I'm going to make the judgment that... Max the Mushroom will go home. I will not put up with this forever, you see? I will not do this. He better go home. Oh, oh boy. I just... I really hope I don't go home, and yeah, Max was kind of annoying at the challenge, and he kind of embarrassed me, but I don't think he should go home for it. Uh, I'm gonna be a nice guy and give him a second chance, because, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think... I don't think Max deserves to go home, so, sorry Jake, don't really know you that well, it's just, eh, I don't really want to vote for Max, sorry. Man, I think that both Egbert and Max are great guys, I mean, I don't really want, want to vote for either of them, I mean, 
Egbert's a great team leader, and, you know, he's helped us, I mean, every single one of us with a lot of stuff, even though he's not the most talkative person. So, eh, I don't know, they were throwing Jake's name around. Uh, I think I'll just, you know what, I'm gonna keep Max and Egbert in the game. I like both of them. And, again, I don't really know Jake that well, so I'm just gonna vote for Jake. Alright, let's hope that Max and Egbert still stay in the game. Yes, 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 alright, all the votes are in. Now, without further ado, let's get this voting going. So, the first person that is safe is Nightmare Balloon Boy. <laughs> I at least survived another round. <laughs> The next person who is safe is Alfred the Zombie. Huh? What'd you say? The next person who is safe is Granny. Nope, 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 Granny. Let's, uh, let's go over this way. You've already broken three of my cameras. The next person who is safe is Meta Knight. Fight me. The next person who is safe is Pattaya. Man, I just, I really hope that Max and Egbert stay in the game. They're both really good people. The next person who is safe is Wario. I knew I'd make it. The next person who is safe is Baldi. That mushroom is gonna deserve it. Wow. The final person who is safe before the showdown is Egbert. Oh, oh, phew. Oh, I thought, I thought I was gonna get a lot more votes than that. Well, I just hope Max doesn't get voted out. The final two. Make your statements. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have no clue what I did wrong, and I don't know what the heck I could do to improve, but, um, if I don't get voted out, please just tell me what I did wrong so that I can fix it, because, uh, I really just don't want to, like, you know, ruin people's lives, because I, I don't feel like I did anything wrong, but, uh, sorry if I did. Man, I really shouldn't have screwed that challenge up. I should have thought it through more. I'm really sorry. I mean, Egbert, if you'll forgive me and give me a second chance, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. I just I thought about the times when I was playing good when I was playing uh, Truth or Dare with my goodness gang friends and got carried away. I guess. So the person getting eliminated is Jake. Again, I still don't know what I did wrong to get voted out, and I'm pretty sure I'm suffocating this cow. And he's gone. Alright, well, with Jake out of the game, what will happen on the next episode of Awesome Stuff Love Frenzy Season 2? And hey, you guys can help shape the episode by commenting what you want the challenge to be. As said before, in previous videos, if you've commented a challenge, I have it written down. You don't have to re-comment it. I have it written down. I have a big list of challenges that I decide from each and every episode. But if you have new ideas or you want to comment new suggestions, go down in the comments down below and comment your or, um, idea or your challenge idea for the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next episode of awesome stuff with frenzy as always i've been your host vv and goodbye